Hey guys, welcome to another David Zamalara and it's nice to see you on my channel again. Thank you guys so much for all your support and watching my channel. Uh, right now I actually just did a video on high pressure fuel pump and my uh, idea was to cover the fuel injectors and cover the, um, the fuel rail. I'm almost like forgetting these type of words. So let's start with the fuel injectors. Let me show you where they are. Let me show you like where the return fuel line is, where the fuel line enters and just talk a little bit about that. If I have time, I'm going to talk about the fuel rail. I might just put it, go ahead and put in a separate video. I really don't want to make it as less confusion as possible. Plus somebody might be having questions for the fuel rail separately. So let's get started with the fuel injectors. So anyways guys, this is obviously fuel injectors. There's five of them because this is a, a 2.7 liter um, five cylinder inline uh, in case you guys are wondering what kind of engine because you may have a 3.0 six cylinder but the fuel injectors they're going to look fairly similar so the information you're going to get here it's going to be useful for you because i will make information for both okay this is a 2006 um sprinter okay and they were called dodge sprinters and freight freightliner sprinters but don't let that confuse you because uh, they are 100 percent mercedes and you, you're going to end up paying mercedes pricing uh when it comes to this so things that I wanted to go ahead and uh, point out, this is a 2006, obviously. Um, and 2006, basically 2004, five, and six, they use the same type of fuel injectors. Uh, and you cannot use these injectors in 2002 and in 2003. You cannot use them in 2007 and up. Even though they look like exactly the same fuel injectors, you still cannot use them. And um, the reason is, they're completely different. Um, now, one good thing is, if you end up getting a fuel injector for 2005, four, and six, and you get a used one, you could go ahead and uh, put it in. You could just put it in any type of socket, or, well, hole or whatever um, in the head. Um, So guys, the same idea goes for 2002, 2003. You could interchange uh, only with 2002 and 2003 and you could pop them in any type of socket um, that you pull them out of. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you're going to get through 2007 to 2009 sprinters and anything above, you cannot just uh, get one that's from a 2007 and stick it in the 2009 or, or 8 or whatever. You can't, but you can't, okay? Here's what, what I'm trying to explain to you guys those are programmed to work specifically in that type of cylinder these are fuel injectors they got numbers on the top over here and they use those numbers to actually program them in with a computer for that specific number for that specific um cylinder if you are happening to use those and you you know your vehicle's not starting this is why because it needs to be reprogrammed so you're going to need to take it to a dealer or somebody that has the ability to reprogram these things with a computer and stick another uh, number in there so uh, be careful with that because you just can't use them like that now I do recommend just uh, using new fuel injectors for that and just just get in a dealer to uh, program in program in and put it in for you uh, unless you could just uh, do it yourself uh, because you're gonna run into some problems so now um, some other things okay this is a fuel line guys it's running from here to the back uh, from what I could see this is a plastic one this is plastic nozzles they are uh plastics it's a it happened to be a return fuel line let me zoom in zoom in a little bit for you guys they are plastic so whenever you actually removing these things be very very careful um you know not to break it especially if you're um you really don't want to spend any extra money um on this thing so so anyways, guys, uh, I actually recommend uh, go to Mercedes, pick one up that's got metal nozzles, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, it actually, let me show you, let me show you. Uh, it runs back there, and you need to actually disconnect the bolt back there to actually, um, you know, remove that uh, fuel line. It's pretty easy to do. Um, and let me show you these other things this is where the fuel is coming in from the fuel rail the fuel rail is this uh long fuel rail right there that's where it's sitting and it's causing the fuel to go in i recently had somebody that had a problem and they were asking me about this their 
inter, inner type of uh, fuel rail was leaking and they were thinking it's because of the Bosch um, fuel injectors. Well, guys, they all are Bosch. Um, you know, I don't think Mercedes strictly sells Mercedes. They actually sell the Bosch part. It just so happens that all these uh, factories, a lot of the stuff is made, um, you know, at Bosch factory and they'll send it to maybe like Mercedes. Maybe they'll even send it to Ford nowadays. Who knows? But this is how you actually this is disconnected right here and right there. Um, it shouldn't actually leak from there unless you actually installed it wrong uh, or there's something, something's blocking it or maybe you didn't tighten it up all the way. So that's something to check if that's leaking. Now, another thing I do want to touch uh, base on is, I'm really sorry guys for that barking, it's not my dogs, it's my neighbors. Um, if you have a fuel leak, okay, and you could see something leaking towards the back of your engine where the transmission is, um, it so happens that the fuel actually makes it inside over here. Uh, it could be your return fuel line leaking, most likely that's what's actually leaking. There is a hole at the back of the um, uh, cover and it's actually meant to take, it's got a little pipe, goes uh, goes towards the back of the transmission uh, and uh, it, well, to the, towards between the transmission and engine, it just basically leaks the diesel from there. You can see that kind of happening, especially if you just mess with fuel injectors, you probably damage one of the nozzles and it's not completely broken, but it's already uh, leaking out there. Even though it's a return fuel line, you're gonna have a lot of problems. You most likely, you're not gonna be able to drive it, you know. So anyways, uh, that's fuel injectors there. I would like to talk more about it, but that's uh, for another video. If you wanna know how to properly install them uh, the proper way, I already have some videos on that. So, you know, please watch those. I recently talked about the correct way of installing a fuel injector, and uh, that will answer a lot of your questions. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this type of video, leave a like. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And in the comments below, enter your questions. I will be able to answer all your questions. Just put them down at the comments below. You see me always in the comment section answering all the questions. It does not matter which video you ask the question on. I will still answer it even though if it's off topic. So uh, just ask, to, ask away and I will help you guys. So take care, guys. God bless you and see you in my next video.